You know, one thing that I find really relatable about The Office is that it portrays people working with complicated people, people having complicated bosses, complicated co-workers. The Office is one of our most favorite sitcoms of all time, and today Ethan and I are going to share with you guys some of our favorite moments from the show. You don't want to miss it, you're going to have a lot of fun and laughs and learn vocabulary in the process. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell down below because every week there is a new video here on the channel designed to help you understand your favorite movies and TV series without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. So hit the subscribe button in order not to miss a single new video. So Thiago, I've recently jumped back into The Office, which has to be one of the best comedy sitcoms ever made. I agree. Yeah, I love it too. <laughs> you know, one thing that I find really relatable about The Office is that it portrays people working with complicated people, people having complicated bosses, complicated co-workers. By the way, guys, have you had in your life a complicated boss to work with or a complicated co-worker to work with? Probably yes, right? So the show is really relatable because of that. <laughs> yeah, because we can relate like, oh my God, I mean, it's so hard to work with this person. They really exaggerated to, I don't know, 100 times. <laughs> Very well said. Today will be looking at one of our favorite aspects of the show, one of the things that really characterizes it, which are the pranks, particularly between Jim and Dwight. Every episode, we're looking forward to see what prank he's going to pull on Dwight next. By the way, Ethan, what is a prank? It's good to define that. I think many countries have an official prank day. In the States, it's April Fool's. So the best way to define this is through an example. One year on April's Fool's, April Fool's, which is April 1st in the United States. We have the sink in my parents' house. We have one of those that has the hose that you grab and it has a sprayer on top of it, which you might use to spray off some junk on a pan or something like that. And I put tape on it so that when someone went to open the sink to turn on the water, it would spray them oh my. with the hose there. <laughs> so yeah, I remember just like cracking up when I heard like my mom scream in the other room because she got all wet. It's like a, That's a prank. A practical joke, right? <laughs> Not so fun for the person who's the butt of the joke. The butt of the joke. The victim of the joke, right? The joke is on the person, right? Exactly. The butt of the joke. Mm -hmm. Nice. We have that too on April 1st here. I think we call it Liar's Day, I think. So they have instead in Spain, Dia de los Inocentes. So it's the day of the innocents. <laughs> I don't know if you're, you're pulling pranks on the innocence, but it's the 28th of December, so right after Christmas. That's a big change, too, from the spirit of Christmas to pranking people. That name reminded me of another great word in English we have, which is gullible. A gullible person is a naive mm -hmm. person, like an innocente, as you said. Yeah, I remember when I was younger, people would say this, hey, gullible is written on the ceiling. <laughs> and inevitably you tell this to someone and they look. <laughs> so Jim is definitely one of the great pranksters. Mm. You can use this as a noun, a prankster of our eras. So I have one of my favorites here. I'm going to describe a little bit what happens. So first off, I think it's one of the cold opens. A cold open is when these sitcoms have a first scene that doesn't really have to do with the rest of the series. It's just to get some first chuckles, some first laughs. Mm -hmm. So the cold open on one of the episodes in an early season, we see Dwight going to the vending machine as Jim is just leaving. Uh -huh. And Dwight's starting to look in to see what snack he wants to buy. And he realizes all of the things from his desk are in the vending machine <laughs> for purchase. What's up, buddy? This is not funny. Why is my stuff in here? Wow, that's weird. Ooh. So he gets exasperated. He starts banging like a crazy person on the, the side of the machine, hoping that his things will fall out. But of course they don't because they're made to be pretty much tamper proof and then pam comes in so pam often collaborates on jim's pranks right and so she goes and she buys one of his belongings she's like oh a pencil cup i love these <laughs> and she buys it and he's like that's mine and she's like no it's not i just bought it <laughs> oh no 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 that's my pencil cup um i don't think so i just bought it uh i think so and you're gonna hand it over to me i love these and so dwight finally gives in and he goes to get out his wallet so that he can buy his things back and he sees his wallet is gone. And then Jim says, oh, you know, it's right there. J1 or something like that. So <laughs> it's also inside, he has no way. But then Jim gives him a bag of nickels so that he can buy it back. <laughs> I remember that one, it's really cool, yeah. I think Jim is the greatest prankster on that show. Yeah, He's always 
uh, pulling pranks on Dwight and Michael. Here, you know I don't know how many you get the nickels. I'm sure you've been learning many nice words with us in this lesson, but let me ask you something. Do you think you will be able to remember all this new vocabulary a week from now? Two weeks from now? You know, all my students usually tell me that one of the most frustrating things for them is when they have to speak English and they forget a new word that they have just learned. I know it's a horrible feeling, but there is a very powerful system that you can use called space repetition. Space repetition is a learning technique that involves reviewing and revisiting information at increasing intervals over time. The basic idea is to expose yourself to the information you're trying to learn in a way that optimally reinforces your memory. This is an advanced technology that works with your brain's natural tendency for memorization using intelligent flashcards. As someone who works in English, I can't stress enough how important it is to have an ample vocabulary. We have made it easy for you to incorporate space repetition in your learning with the Real Life English app. Because with the app, you can learn tons of words, phrasal verbs, and expressions with our advanced technology that helps you review the words you're trying to learn by presenting the new vocabulary at strategic times to you. So you can never forget the new words and expressions you're learning from this podcast again. So if you want to go from feeling like a lost, insecure English learner to becoming a confident, natural English speaker who actually remembers the new words they learn, make sure you download the Real Life English app. Once you download the app, take our free training called the Fluency Challenge. The Fluency Challenge will teach you how to actually use the app and its technology to memorize the words you learn much faster. If you are on YouTube, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. Or if you prefer, you can go to Google Play Store, Apple App Store, search for Real Life English and download it from there. Ethan, you said exasperated, that Dwight got exasperated. It's a great word. What does that mean? When you're exasperated, you're desperate, you can't take it anymore. And that's what we see in the scene is that he's like, what the heck? And he starts banging on the machine. Yeah. Such a nice advanced word. And what is a vending machine? Vending machine, sometimes they're in offices or public places. It's one of these big machines with glass on the front of it that you can put in coins and buy different sorts of snacks. And to bang on something? It's to hit something, uh -huh. hit it a lot. You might bang on someone's door to get them to open it. Mm -hmm. You knock is in a polite way. You bang on it if I go to Chiago's house, I'm angry <laughs> at him for something and I really want to get his attention so he opens up. Like, hey Chiago, you missed the podcast recording today. What's happening, man? <laughs> <laughs> gonna fly to Kurachiba and <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. I'm the one who knocks. There you go. I am the one who knocks. Uh, and uh, you said that Jim gives him a bunch of nickels at the end so that he can buy his stuff back. What is a nickel? A nickel is a five cent piece in the US. So we have mm. nickels, that's five cents. A penny is one cent. A dime is 10 cents. A quarter is 25 cents. But the funny thing about that is that things tend to cost around a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that. And a nickel, it's going to take you forever mm. just popping those in. That might be the smallest coin that you can use. Usually you can't use pennies in these machines. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to be there forever <laughs> popping in those coins to get his stuff back. All right, Chiago, I'm curious to see which prank you pulled as one of your favorites. The vending machine one is definitely one of them, but another one that I remember that I like to watch was also Jim pranking Dwight again. Dwight walks in the office and he realizes that his desk is gone. And there is the big hole, that big empty space where his desk used to be. And he goes <laughs> like, where is my desk? And then Jim is like, what are you talking about? My desk, he was right here. And then he says, oh, Jim goes, but you are the one who lost the desk. I don't know. <laughs> Jim goes, when is the last time you saw it? You know, he starts treating the desk, which is a big thing. Yeah, like a small object, <laughs> like a, a key chain or a key or something. That's funny. Where is my desk? That is weird. Dwight starts walking around the office looking for it. And then Jim goes, colder, colder. And then warmer, warmer, as Dwight approaches where the desk is. And then warmer, warmer, then hot, red hot. And then he realizes that his desk has been placed inside the men's room, the bathroom. And Kevin, the other worker, is there doing number two <laughs> in the bathroom as well. Then Dwight sits down in the office. Jim calls him, I guess. And then 
Dwight picks up the phone and you know it starts working from there. Yeah, so <laughs> that was a cool one. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I forgot about that one, but it's so great. There's so many of these. If any of you haven't seen The Office, it's a must watch. Really, if you need something light, something you can laugh at, and tons of great English learning in there. Yeah, I mean,、uh, for English learning is great, especially for those of you guys who want to learn English for work. It is a sitcom, it is a, a comedy series, but you learn a lot of words related to offices, to corporate, downsizing, you know, those kinds of words. It's, it's awesome. I wanted to ask about a couple things there. I heard you say that he was doing this game of colder, warmer, colder, red hot. Yeah. What does that mean? What's that game about, and what does it mean if something's red hot? Imagine something is hidden in your house. Somebody hid it, and you are looking for it. And as you look for it, the person who hid it gives you clues by telling you how far or close you are from that object. So the farther you are, the colder you are, and the closer you are, the hotter you are. And then if you're really close, you could say hot, very hot. Red hot, which is like really intense hot, and then you know that oh, the object is around there.、Mm -hmm. uh, that's a common game in the US, I would say, right? Ethan? Yeah, and I love this red hot. We have a candy in the states called Red Hots,、mm. which is a spicy candy. I think it's with cinnamon. They're these red candies, so if you eat a lot of them, your mouth might be burning a bit. Right. Global citizens, thank you very much for learning with us. But you should know that this was just a short clip from the full lesson. The full lesson is available on the Real Life English app. So come on, download the app and continue listening there. You're gonna learn even more cool stuff. See you soon.